The flatbed printer is in the building. It's one of their entry-level flatbeds. It's a JFX 200-2513. Okay, I took actual dimensions of this thing. It is a smidge over 15 feet long. I was told it was gonna be 16 foot long. I was also told the width was eight feet. It's really 90 inches. So if you had a eight foot garage door, you could definitely fit this in if you're able to go lengthwise. The biggest problem though is the length of the trailer. You have to have some serious extended forks if you're going to put it in the building long ways in. So I don't know if I'm saying it right. You know what I mean. So that's the problem. You cannot find extended forks. It's really, really hard to find. You could purchase them on Uline. Um, I guess you could manufacture some, but for obviously one-time use, you just want to find some you could borrow or rent or something. I tried all the equipment rental places throughout the area, nothing. So really our only option was to grab it from the side. I think you would still want extended forks from the side, but that's why we use straps to go with it. And it worked out just fine. Um, dimension height wise, it's about 58 inches tall. So I think I was told it was gonna be 70. I got some serious help from a neighboring company that has a glass shop right next door. And I went to them, I ordered this thing and they said it was coming in two days. And so I went to them and I was like, hey guys, uh, I have this thing, it's coming tomorrow. Um, and they were just on the ball. And I tell you the, the really cool thing about this, they had their own forklift and everything. So not only are they taking the window out, they're also taking off the truck and putting it in for me. They did it all. I was super stressed out because I had a client that was picking up two table covers with a heat transfer vinyl on them and I totally forgot about it. So I'm here inside scrambling, working on that. And I see the guys working on the window and I'm like, oh, I need to get them to take it off the truck because the truck driver needs to go. They were like, oh, I've already taken it off the truck. It's, it's sitting down over there, the truck driver's gone. I was like, wow, awesome. So I just, I was worried about everything, but it's like, I, it was all taken care of and I didn't have to, do that much it was really really cool and uh what started off as a very stressful friday morning was just a very celebratory nice beautiful day in southeastern north carolina so here's a little footage of the process
we give her a little push? Oh, yeah. You can see the window sill there had a little bit of water damage to it. So we had to replace the board right there. That's what um, he was doing in that last video. So that's in place. The glass is back in and all is good. Um, it, it's in and uh, I guess I don't need a garage door now. So probably not gonna get one because I have other priorities in terms of getting the electrical the way that we need, to, need it to be in this place. That's uh, the process of how we got this thing in the building. I just wanted to share that with you all. I really appreciate you tuning in. See you in the next one.